Welcome to DroneLink. Let's plan a mapping mission, starting with a template and then fly it with the mobile app. We'll start in the web planner by selecting the create button. Click the map template, which will prompt you to select a location for the mission. Click to place the template mission. The template mission is a standard map pattern with default values that we will change later. We'll start by editing the map boundary area. Move the entire map template. Add a new boundary point or adjust the existing boundary points. Use the direction control to adjust the mapping direction. Change the plan reference pin to the desired takeoff location. The takeoff location is important when mapping locations with changing elevation. Move the map start pin to where you want to start the map. Select the map from the list or on the map to start editing the map settings. Select the drone camera to be used and change the mapping altitude. See the flight path update on the map. Open the advanced settings for more options. Change the overlaps, fly a grid pattern, and more. Open the 3D planner to view the flight path in 3D. Move the virtual drone to see different perspectives. Select mission estimate to get an understanding of mission time, image count, and more. Open the mission preview to fly the mission with a virtual drone. Scroll through the timeline or play the mission. View various drone and camera actions in the timeline. Let's give the plan a name. Let's switch to the mobile app and fly the mission. Once the drone is connected and showing on the top right, we'll select the forestry map mission to open it. The plan will load, showing the preview on the map. We'll take off from the planned takeoff location. You can take off manually or select start and drone link will take off for you. We will check for obstacles before starting the mission. After selecting start, you may get prompted to confirm your takeoff location. Your takeoff location and varying elevation terrain is important for safety. The map preview will update to show your path to the starting location. The drone will first climb to the correct altitude and then fly horizontally to the map start location. It will then adjust the gimbal. Begin flying the first leg and automatically start taking photos. You can use zoom on the map preview to show the full plan. Let the mission run. You can also open the map to full screen. When the mission is complete, a pop-up showing mission accomplished will show. If you have configured an action on finish, RTH may start automatically. Otherwise, dismiss and fly home. If you are using one of our flight logging integrations, a pop-up will show. Now you can process the data with your preferred map processing solution. During longer missions, once the battery runs out, the drone will enter RTH mode. Swap batteries, take off, and select start to resume the mission. The resume path will show in purple on the map preview. Data capture will start from the last taken photo. You can also pause and resume the mission at any point. For any mission plan, you can edit the plan from the mobile app. Open the 3D preview. Fly a verification mission, which flies the mission with the camera pointed forward so that you can identify obstacles. Or, download the mission for offline use. For starter or growth plans, you can turn on Terrain Follow. From the advanced settings, select Terrain Follow, above ground level, as the altitude reference. See the flight path update using the 3D planner. Check out these other videos, or our support page, to keep learning. Thanks for flying with DroneLink.